really nice song, right? No? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you guys a couple more minutes to write down your lyrics. Make sure you guys have all the lyrics you want written down. Okay, if you're done, then you're signaling me that you're done by just sitting at your desk quietly. Okay, looking up. So Ashley's finished. Paris is finished. Courtney is finished. Okay. So you guys didn't know this, okay, you weren't supposed to, but whoever had the best annotated lyric sheet was going to get a piece of candy. So Tiaja, I got to give it up to Tiaja because she's really over here doing her thing. <laughs> oh, really? Ooh. All right, let me figure something else out. This too? Nuts. Okay. All right, you good? Yeah. Okay, on? About done? Okay. Okay. Five seconds to age. Okay. So we would like to share out. Let's see what you guys wrote down. Ashley, go ahead. Um, I like the part when she was like, but don't let anyone tear them away. But don't let anyone tear them away. Tear what away? Um, your dreams. Tear your dreams away. Okay, come on, come bring your sticky note up. So why did that stick out to you? What specifically, what attribute of a hero does that suggest to you? Hmm? Did y'all hear what she said? No. Can you say it one more time, <laughs> Ashley? Strength. So strength, right? That would be an attribute of a hero, right? Strength. Good. Okay, who else? Come on, T. Asia. Bye. The one that says how it was. So when you feel like hope is gone, look at the side of the Okay, come on. Let's put that up. So, so what attribute of a hero does this suggest to you? Let's think about it. I mean, it's okay if maybe you're saying the same thing as Ashley, right? So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong, right? So you got to be strong, right? So we can say strength again for this attribute, but what else? Think about it. If someone, if she's telling them that if when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong, what is she really right. trying to suggest? Go ahead, Courtney. Uh, So, so I like persevere, right? Can we say persevere, right? Yeah. Who want, maybe we can add something else to you. You got something else to say? Perseverance, resilience, right? Both of those are really good. Uh, wouldn't we call those attributes of a hero? Yeah. Right? Good. So we can put both of those down. Perseverance, resilience. Good job, guys. All right? You have to persevere, right? If when, when you feel like giving up, right, all the time. Sometimes I feel like giving up, right? But when I give up, then that might signal to you guys that it's okay for you to give up. But that's never good, right? We have to be resilient in tough times, right? Sometimes, one thing my best friend always tells me is that when times are the roughest, then that means that whatever's on the other side, when times are the hardest to deal with, okay? That means that whatever's on the, uh, the other side of that difficulty is well worth it, right? Because you're going to come out on top way stronger, way better than you were before. Good job. You want to share your lyric now, Courtney? Um, the lyric that stuck out to me was, there's a hero if you look inside your heart. You don't have to be afraid of it. Okay, good. Can you come and bring that up? So what um, attribute of a hero does that suggest to you? Um, bravery. Bravery. Mm. 
can you elaborate on what, what, why that suggests bravery to you? Um, because, like, some people are scared to see, like, some people are scared to dig inside their heart because they don't like what they see. Hmm, that's deep. You guys probably don't have that problem, though, right? I used to be like that, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, when we, when we know that there are certain things about who we are that we don't like, then we tend to kind of shy away from it, and we become a shell of who we are. But it does take a very brave person to look at themselves in the mirror and say, well, I know that this part of me isn't so good, and I have to do everything that I can to make it better. Really good job. All right, so we got Paris, Kayon, and Mr. Dewan left. Can you yeah, share your lyric with us? Which one would you like to share? The second one. Mm -hmm. The sorrow that you know will melt away. The sorrow that you know will melt away. So what attribute of a hero made that suggest to you? was a little tough. <laughs> so that, why was she saying that? Where was she saying that in the song? Let's look at, let's get some context. Where was she saying that in the song? About what paragraph was that? Okay, right there in the first one. Right? So this is, oh no, this isn't like, this isn't Courtney's lyric. It is like, but, it, but it's kind of like Courtney's lyric. It's so, like Brady Okay, so we can say bravery, right? She's telling them, right, the same thing, right? Look inside you, right? If you don't look inside you, then that sorrow's not going to go anywhere, right? It's going to stay there. You got to look at it to figure out how to get rid of it, right? Okay, anything else? Anything else? No? Can you think of an attribute, maybe? Okay. You want us to come back? Yeah. Okay, we're going to come back. Go ahead, Kayon. Can you share your lyric now? And you finally see the truth that and you will love me. Okay, I really like that. I was waiting for that one. Come on. <laughs> Let's bring it up. And you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. So what is that? What attribute of a hero is that? And you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. What does it take for a person to see the hero that lies inside of them? Acceptance. Hmm? Acceptance. Acceptance. Woo! Okay, y'all, you just said it. So we can say acceptance. Confidence, right? Why do you say confidence, Kayon? Hmm? He said it. <laughs> what about confidence? You have to have confidence. You have to have confidence, but why does that why does that suggest confidence? Why should that suggest confidence to us? If you look inside your heart and there's a hero, right? Tia. Right. What's the opposite of confidence? If we're not confident in ourselves, then that means that. Hmm? I can't hear you. Scared. Uh, scared. Maybe not scared, right? But a, a lack of confidence is what? Okay, we maybe so confident. So like low self-esteem, right? Right. So people with low self-esteem, right? Do they see themselves as heroes? No. 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 So you're absolutely right. That's talking about the confidence that you need to have to be a hero, right? It's a it's an honor roll when you face the word alone. You gotta slow down. Let's try to slow down, okay, and read that so the kids did y'all understand what he said? It's a long road with Alright, come on. Say it one more time. It's a long road when you face the world alone. All right, let's put that up, okay? Let's talk about it. What um, attribute? What attribute of a hero is that? Maybe signal it to us. Correct. T.A. 
Courageous? Yeah. Why you say courageous? Courage because it's like it's going, if you alone, you have to leave somebody to help you. Got to let somebody help you. Like, but it's you understand why you are doing wrong, but you have to understand. Okay. All right. Courtney. Um, I would say struggle because like. If, you, if you're a hero, sometimes you struggle, sometimes you be a hero. Okay. So, I'm going to put both these courageousness, right? I'm going to add to your point, Tiaja, by saying this, right? Maybe not everybody's going to see your dream, right? Like she said, right? What did she say in the song? Everybody's not going to realize your dream. So, you might feel like you have to walk the road alone for a certain amount of time. And that takes courageousness, right? If you're the only one, let's say you found the hottest trend is in sneakers, okay? And, and, and like you put wings on your shoes, okay? You started strutting down the street with your wingtip sneakers or something. But you're the only one doing that. And people start making fun of you, right? Isn't that going to make you feel like, well, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore? Mm -hmm. But if you really believe in it, are you going to are you gonna think like that? Mm -hmm. You're going to be real courageous walking down the street with those wingtip sneakers, right? Good. And you said, what you said? Remind me of what you said again? Struggle. You said struggle. So I wanna I don't wanna say struggle. I'm gonna change that around to say long suffering. Who's heard of that word before? Long suffering. Okay. Long suffering is you wanna you wanna tell me what you think long suffering I think, is? I think long suffering is, is when you like feel some type of for a long time, like you're suffering for a long time. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Way to use the context of the word. Anybody else maybe want to tell me what they think this word means? Other than T-Asia? So long-suffering is exactly how you suggested it. Long-suffering is kind of like the ability to go through hardship and come out on top. Okay? So you kind of hinted at it, but you didn't, you didn't really, you didn't give me the, the point of the suffering. We don't just suffer just because, right? We suffer to get to to get better, right? So that's exactly what that's saying. When you walk, when you walk on the road alone, you suffering by yourself. You getting better all the time. All right. So real quick, and I know you guys have to to go. All right, but um, we're gonna do this really quickly. I'm just gonna share with you my grandmother. Okay, that's my hero, and she exhibits all of these attributes. How? Why is she brave? Because she decided to move back from Florida to come back to Washington D.C. so that she could adopt her grandchildren. Life wasn't wasn't good for us when I was a kid. Okay, we was enduring some long suffering. Okay, but she decided to come up here and adopt us. That was very courageous of her, right? Okay, perseverance and resilience. She had all her friends looking at her like, "What are you doing? Why are you doing that with your kids? That's not your responsibility. You shouldn't have to do that. You already raised your kids, right?" So all of these different things, confidence, right? She had the confidence. In us, that we was going to be able to turn out fine, right? Because me and my brothers and sisters, after, after the childhood we had, and if you knew exactly everything that had happened, right, everybody wrote us off. Nobody thought that we would be able to rebound from the things that we had experienced as children. But she had the confidence in us that she knew that as long as we had the proper guidance, that we would be okay. So listen, what I want you guys to do is turn over your Freya model, Turn over on your frame model and write exit ticket on the top. And we're getting ready to roll out, okay? What I want y'all to do for this exit ticket is tell me who in your life exhibits some of these attributes, okay? In about three to four sentences, tell me who is your hero and what specifically have they done to show you that they're a hero, all right?